Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MathTube. So we continue with this triple products and reciprocal system of vectors. Okay, I saw one question in a recent question paper. It's easy but I don't want you to get confused. So they are asking you to find, uh, first of all they asked to define an STP. So I hope you remember what is a scalar triple product. Then they asked what is the geometrical meaning. The scalar triple product gives the volume of a parallelly piped. Uh, I think you remember square becomes a cube, a rectangle becomes a cuboid, a box. Similarly, the three dimensional version of a parallelogram is the parallelly pipe. It kind of like looks like this. Uh, it will look as if you have like what you call crushed a box or a book okay so the question is find the volume of the parallelly piped with concurrent sides okay so it's very easy the first thing to do is you give them names call it a b and c now what will be the required volume volume will be stp stp of the scalar triple product of abc and I told you, you have two different options, no, three options. You can do A cross B dot C or A dot B cross C or in my opinion, the easiest method when they give you the component form, the determinant. So the determinant will be um, 1, 2, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 1 and 1, 1, 1. Okay, you can use properties of determinants that will make things a little bit easier for you. So, you can do R2 minus R1, R3 minus R1. So, I am going to get 1, 2 minus 1. 1 minus 1 will be 0. Minus 1 minus 2 will be minus 3. 1 minus minus 1 will be 2. And again, R3 minus R1. 1 minus 2 minus 1. 1 minus minus 1, 2. So, we end up with this smaller determinant. So, that will give you minus 6 plus 2 equal to minus 4. Now, remember volume is a positive quantity. So, you have to write volume is equal to plus 4 units. Okay, that's it. Now, another question in one of the recent question papers that is related to um, reciprocal system. They are asking you to prove that a dash b dash c dash multiplied by a b c is equal to 1 okay so do you remember what is this um, a dash b dash c dash yeah so let's start with the left hand side and i'm going to manipulate the reciprocal systems of a b c so i'll get a dot <laughs> b cross c of course with the dashes and here we have our stp now look at this this stp is a number it's a number it's a scalar so i'm going to keep that stp in the front kind of like seven or five or something and i'll manipulate this what is a dash yeah a dash is b cross c divided by stp dot what is b dash c cross a divided by stp cross a cross b divided by stp we have done so many problems like this now i hope you are comfortable with this okay now what happens is can you see there is a dot and a cross what happens here is this abc will come out from everywhere or you can imagine the stp corresponds to a determinant so from every row this stp will come out so basically, you're going to get ABC divided by ABC times ABC times ABC. And the remaining part will be B cross C dot C cross A cross A cross B. So these two will get, so we get 1 by now look at this, if you remember the cross product of 4 vectors, things are very easy. 
if you do not remember you can look at the previous videos we have done this three times i guess you can call the first vector as u and you'll get a triple product vector triple product you can apply the formula simplify anyway i'm going to do it directly here because i remember the formula uh, for cross product of four vectors okay the formula goes like this c a b a minus c a a b if you don't remember the formula don't worry you can derive it and deriving will be much better in the exam because uh, there will be like what you call additional steps anyway the good news is uh, the second stp will vanish because two vectors are identical so we end up with so we end up with something like this because the second part will be zero okay now look at this we have to take dot product of these two vectors but remember this is a number so what we do we take the number yeah outside and the remaining part is another stp so that's it uh, if you have watched the previous videos and if you practiced a few problems in this type you will remember if you like what you call do a cyclic interchange you push it backwards so i get a b c or interchange two times and this is another stp eventually it will be a b c i'm skipping steps so uh, these things will get cancelled and we get the value one okay that's it that's uh, two questions that i saw in the question paper so in the next video we will be discussing vector differentiation vector integration related problems so till then my friends bye